Hey everybody, it's Ben, and it's about uh, nine days before leaving on the Loop of the Lake trip, and I still have some challenges before me. A big one, actually, is cargo space. Um, I'm pretty good on charging. That's been really working great. Uh, not a lot of cargo space on here, especially considering that the bare minimum that I want to take with me is at least um, a large duffel bag. I need a week's worth of clothes. I need... Uh, sleeping bag and I need my camera bag which is going to be loaded up with the video camera I'm shooting with right now a couple of GoPros power cords extra batteries all the accessories needed wireless mics things like that uh, and a tripod and also you don't even see the tent here yet I need a tent too so how the heck am I gonna carry all that stuff and I thought you know if I'm gonna do a cargo rack it's gonna take up a lot of space so I may as well do some aerodynamics too so I have here this kind of backrest I got from Craig Vetter and I have it temporarily mounted so that that's basically the space that I take up um, when it's all done it's gonna have a little flip up door so the other advantage of this is that I'll be able to keep my gear out of the weather uh, protected from the elements and if I have to walk away from my bike for a while at least I don't have a lot of gear just kind of stacked on it and exposed uh, I did take the seat off because uh, the seat would normally connect right back onto some bolts that get covered uh, by putting the seat cover here. I also removed the passenger seat, which is the cover for the trunk. But what this does is it gives me access to do some braces and some work to do kind of an aerodynamic tail on this thing. So I just have some of this kind of temporarily mocked up so I can see what it might look like uh, so that I can uh, get some more material to, uh, to build it. A um, couple other things that I'm looking at is this tail is going to be long enough that it actually comes out past the back tire here. So I thought um, as a little additional thing, I could actually cut out, I'll, I'll have a shelf here with some plywood, cut a hole out in it and put literally a little kitchen garbage can in there and that'll give me some uh, drop-down storage behind the back wheel. Uh, another piece that you don't see is that I'm gonna have a piece going from about here to down here. That's gonna be the low portion. Now let's see if I can put some material up here temporarily, give you a little bit more of an idea of what it might look like when it's all done. Okay, here we go. You uh, have to still use your imagination a little bit but this is sort of a, a wax tag board material. Apparently it's what they make uh, milk cartons out of. I just have it flopped over there to give you kind of an idea of what this might look like. I may end up using that material. I may use uh, corrugated plastic, like the, the stuff they make political signs out of. Uh, potentially I could put the tail light up right behind the headrest there. I could still have the license plate back here, could do a slow moving vehicle reflective sign or something. I could also have a little small door on the back because the tail is longer than my arm. So I won't be able to reach my arm through the, the access panel on the front and get at everything. Uh, in other bad news, I managed to somehow drop my helmet and it broke the screw in there that connects the visor. And unfortunately there's, there's really no way to fix that yeah, you know, I could take the visor off, but I've been hit in the, uh, hit by bugs and rocks enough times right in the visor to know that um, I definitely want one. I don't just want to wear safety glasses. So unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to have to buy um, a new helmet, and that's, uh, that's not really in the budget either. Uh, remember, you can still donate to the project. If you can, please do. Uh, every little bit helps, and it just goes to... Uh, Working on more projects just like this one. Thanks a lot. Bye.